I have this irrational fear of forgetting my life. Memories, the experiences I've shared with my loved ones, the beautiful things I've seen. I feel like if I don't remember something, those moments will be lost forever. In a very real sense, memories are all we get to keep. That's why as much as possible, I try to hold on to them for as long as I can. It's also why I like documenting things in video form. If my memories start to fade, I can look back to these videos to help me remember. But, this is not the tone I want for this film. Let me wind this back. And here is my travel diary about my trip to beautiful Germany which happened pre-corona. We flew in from Manila to Frankfurt and stayed with Kevin's sister in Heidelberg. Heidelberg is a postcard perfect city located in southwest Germany and lies on the Neckar River. What I love about the city is its wide sidewalks and extensive bicycle lanes. It's easy to get around the city by walking, cycling, or riding the track. Our first activity was CrossFit. For the duration of our trip, we would join Kevin's sister whenever she goes to her CrossFit box. One of the coolest things about the CrossFit community is that since the movements and equipment are pretty much universal, you can drop in anywhere in the world and you will still know how to do the workouts. CrossFit is also a great way to meet new people. <laughs> After working out, we went for a stroll down the old town and see the Marktplatz, one of Heidelberg's oldest squares. There are shops, cafes, and ice cream. In the old town, we went to the Florian Steiner coffee shop. There are coffee roastery in Heidelberg and they serve really good specialty coffee. Next, we rode the funicular to go up and see the Heidelberg castle. The castle is a mix of Gothic and Renaissance styles. It's surrounded by a park where a famous poet once walked. One of the main reasons why you should visit the castle is that it has the best view of the entire city of Heidelberg and the Neckar Valley. Today is our fourth day in Heidelberg. <laughs> uh, Kevin and I are hiking to uh, Thingstätte. And then after, we're gonna go to um, the Philosophen Weg. <laughs> we hiked up to Thingstätte, a Nazi-built open-air amphitheater. Okay. Here's the seat overlooking the city of Heidelberg. On our way up to Thingstätte, we passed by the Heidenloch or Heidenhoe, a rock cut shoot that's 180 feet deep. You'll also see the remains of an old monastery and the lookout tower. 
There's a beer garden at the top so you can enjoy some refreshments after the hike off. Going down, you passed by Philosopher and Bag or Philosopher's Walk. It was named this because Heidelberg's university professors and philosophers from long ago found this path a good place where they can contemplate while enjoying the charming view of the Neckar River. We then had lunch at Pirim Kebab House for some delicious Turkish food. The next day, we biked through the old bridge to Old Town and ate at Unterfreunden, a restaurant selling pizzas by the slice and smoothies. After we hiked up Konigstu, our king's throne. Hey cutie! At the top, you get an amazing view of Heidelberg city and there's also a forest trail that you can explore. Currently here at the Konigstu hiking trail. So not too far from Heidelberg, we visited the Schwetzingen Palace. This was the summer residence of some nobles, more famous for its gardens than its architecture. Depending on the season, you will find a different assortment of plants and flowers. Inside, you will see a temple of Apollo, a bathhouse, a mosque, lots of sculptures, brooks, and lakes. It's a huge place to explore, 72 hectares big. You can take a stroll, relax on one of the benches while admiring the different areas of the garden. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll be posting part 2 next. Don't forget to leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!